Jack of all trades, master of none, bring you another video. I have another video uh, where uh, uh, I'm recharging the AC. Uh, you can find that, you can find that uh, in the archive, Jack of all trades, master of none. This is an updated version of that video. I hope you can see pretty good. Uh, it got the sun in the, back, in the background and it's, it's, it's kind of light in the, inside the garage. But for the sake of the video, I've already charged this vehicle up. 2000, 2000 uh, 15 Jeep Renegade it uses a special type of uh, Freon R1234YF. You know, we normally use it for the all other cars as 134A, but we use in this kind for this vehicle. That's what, that's what the, the dealer or the manufacturer recommends. So, so therefore, the, in my own video, I use this, but I found a, a line that works better than that one, and it's this one. And this one, we picked this up at O'Reilly's, um, and it's still got the right fitting on this end for this particular fitting for this vehicle right here. And uh, what you want to do, just like in the other video, is you want to get in, pop in, crank your car up, and you want to put it on max, max AC. But first of all, before you do that, this particular unit right here is going to let off some pressure in your unit once you hook it up. Once you hook this one up, it's gonna let pressure out of that unit. Once you get it hooked up in there, hook up to that valve. And it's, it's pretty simple. You pull that little lever back and you press it down and it snaps. And once you crank, before you crank it up, you, you, if, if, this, if this, uh, this little deal right here, it's in the red, release some pressure off of it. Give it a few, and the air pressure will come out of here. And you want, you want this, you want this, to be over here, this gauge to be over here in the field part, or just below it, until you get all that pressure off. All that pressure off, about right here, right before 30, right up in there. And once all that pressure is off, then before you crank it up, go ahead and put your can on, like so. And this can right here is left hand can. You gotta turn it to the left, not to the right, it's to the left. And so once you put that on, now you can crank it up. Shake your can up first. Now you can crank it up, put it on max, and while it's running, just turn it upside down, and, and you can feel the can start to get cold while you give it, giving it pressure. And what you want to do is just go ahead, and you can watch it. You can watch it as it as it starts to feel. As it starts to feel, stick your hand in the window and check it to see if the air is getting cold. Go ahead and put this whole can in there. Once you once you backed all the pressure out, you can put this whole can in there. And then when you finish, it's gonna probably be right here at 50, it's full in the green. And you're probably just low, or you probably got a leak, but this will help you ride around in the cool while it's still hot, before you, so you have a chance later on to get to get your AC unit checked out at a, at a uh, certified tech, which I am not. I'm the master of none. I'm jack of all trades, master of none. A, a through Z, not certified by anybody, but just doing this uh, on my own because I enjoy doing it. So anyway, hope that video helps you out. Uh, 2012 Jeep Renegade is hot out here. Uh, don't want to be don't want to be riding around in the heat. If you can't get it fixed, drink your plenty of water. Jack of all trades, master of none. Signing out. See you.